structures give us hierarchical namespaces in OCaml. Let's take a look at some code we saw last week. We have a type for lists and a type for trees, and two map functions over those. Now this time I've named both of those map functions just map. That creates a problem when I go to do a map over a my list, because the word map here means the most recent definition of it, which is the map function here over trees, that is shadowing the earlier definition of mapping over lists. There's really no way to recover that earlier definition unless we use structures. Let's enclose the definition of my list here in what's in OCaml called a module. We'll name that module my list. And it is a structure which begins with the keyword struct and ends with the keyword end. I'll do the same thing for trees. Module tree is a structure, and it ends there. And now when I save, you'll notice that VS Code reformats and indents all of those pieces of those structures inside. Now the word map is unbound because it's not defined anymore at the top level of scope, as it were. Instead, I now have to say mylist.map to get the mylist version of it, which is what I want here, or tree.map, which of course is not what I want. It gives me back that original error we saw earlier. So we created a module, which is named mylist, and we bound it to this structure, Inside that structure is all the kind of code that we've been writing all along. So basically, this gives us a way to create nested levels of code with hierarchical names. One possibly surprising thing about structures and module names is where the name itself goes when types are involved. If we hover over list, you can see that its type is int mylist.mylist. .mylist. MyList was the type constructor that we defined inside of the module MyList. That type constructor is parameterized on a type variable alpha. So the type of list is an int MyList.MyList .mylist because the name MyList is defined inside of the module capital MyList. That's why the module name dot goes in front of the type name. The module name does not go in front of the type variable. Again, think of that type variable as a parameter being passed to a kind of type level function. So int here is being passed, if you will, to mylist.mylist. We could also code up trees and see the same phenomenon. Now you see we have an error because OCaml doesn't know what node means here. It doesn't know that we mean the node inside of the tree module. We could show OCaml we wanted that in a couple different ways. We could say tree.node here. And now once OCaml knows that, it's not going to force us to write tree.leaf in the rest of these places. The type inference engine will figure that out. Another way of helping type inference here would be to give a manual annotation on the type of T. Now we don't have to put the tree dot in front of either of the constructors.